Growing up, I prayed every day that God would surround me with people that build me up, challenge me, and make me better. Now I wake up every day and thank God every morning for answering my prayers 10 times over. I am by far my best self when I'm with you. From classmate and neighbor, my best friend, and now wife, our story has gotten more exciting with each page. Thank you for always holding me to the highest standard. Thank you for being patient in all parts of our lives. Thank you for being my gym buddy every morning at six and my dinner date every night at 10. Thank you for making the best part of every day coming home to your arms. I promise to make you laugh, pour your wine, and open your doors. I promise to warm your cold feet, walk on the street side of the sidewalk, and always make your coffee. I promise to make myself better every single day for you and one day for our family. As Mitch and I are eight years apart, I was always determined to look after her, take care of her, and protect her. Then, one day, Michelle met Tyler. I came to realize, not so willingly, that this person really, truly cared for her. Not only did he care for her, he loved her. My husband, Adam, explains their relationship like this. If there's a puddle in the street, Tyler will literally lay down in the puddle so that Michelle won't get her shoes wet. Today, in front of our family and friends and under God, I have the honor of becoming your wife and accepting you just as you are, as my husband. I love you unconditionally for the incredible man that you are, and for the man, husband, and father that I trust you will become. I love that you don't mind when I put my cold feet on you. You just smile and tell me that it's one of your jobs. <laughs> and more than anything, I love the way you truly see me, understand me, and love me in the most effortless and pure sense of the word. Our love is the kind of love that I prayed I'd find someday, and the kind that I promised to spend my whole life making sure I deserve. Tyler, you are my heart, my soul, and my home. And today, without any reservations, I give myself to you in marriage. Welcome everyone. My name is Brad Gear, and I have known Michelle and Tyler since, almost since the day they met. And although I'm an airline pilot by trade, when they asked me to officiate their wedding, I was extremely honored and I, I can't thank you enough. And something you probably don't want to hear from an airline captain, but this is my first time doing this, so please bear with me. <laughs> As you two begin this journey down the road of life together, there are certain key things that you must remember to help make the best of whatever comes your way. It is imperative that you continue to enjoy each other like the first day you met. It is imperative that you realize, as we heard in the reading, that no one is perfect. And may you always look for the good things in each other and in all people. Stay focused on realizing that no matter what happens, you must always hold on to each other and know that things have a way of working out for the good if you're willing to put in the effort. You have been blessed with shining examples in your lives of long-lasting marriages. They set the example for you and should be your role models. Oh my God. Oh, Michelle. <laughs> oh, you're so beautiful. I love you. Oh. I love you. Oh my God. <laughs> Such a beautiful bride. Such a beautiful daughter. <laughs> you're gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank so. you. Romans chapter 12, verses 9 through 16 encourages us to honor our spouses. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in passion, but keep your spiritual enthusiasm serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope. 
patient in affliction, faithful in prayer, live in harmony with one another. While the love these two have for each other is magical, this ceremony is not magic. It cannot create a relationship that does not already exist and has not already been celebrated in all the commitments that Michelle and Tyler have made to each other. For after these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. It's a very rare thing when you find someone who is both happy for your happiness and sad for your sadness. But when that happens, that person breaks a bunch of barriers and they become family. Michelle is such a beautiful person both inside and out, and I've learned more than you can imagine from her. You are my constant reminder that it is truly not what you have, it's who you have. I can't put into words how much I love you and appreciate you. You're such an amazing person. I feel so blessed to call you my best friend. I knew it wasn't going to be just anybody that was going to be privileged enough to spend the rest of their life with her. And as long as I've known Tyler, he's been far from anybody. In the seven or eight years that I've known Tyler, I've known nothing but kindness, genuineness, and compassion. He's such a thoughtful, respectful, empathetic, and caring person. He has such a deep respect for marriage. And I know today when he took his vows, he made a lifelong commitment. He has the biggest heart, rock-solid character and a liver of steel. <laughs>